Hello, Grand Rapids. This is City Manager Mark Washington. Thank you for being here. Uh, it was so good to see some of you out at our uh, Commission Night Out meetings as we travel through the various wards. And also, I appreciate those of you who came out, either voted in person or absenteeism, during the uh, most recent election on November 8th, and the results are in. Uh, it was very high voter turnout nationally. It was the uh, second highest midterm election turnout in the past 30 years. Statewide, we had high voter turnout, as well as uh, locally. We had about 52% of the registered voters in Grand Rapids participate in this past election. And as a result, we have uh, three new elected commissioners. Uh, Kelsey Perdue, Lisa Knight, and Drew Robbins will succeed uh, outgoing commissioners, Commissioner Sunita Lanier, Joe Jones and Kurt Repard. I want to thank um, our current commissioners for their service and all that they've done to uh, elevate the quality of life uh, for Grand Rapidians, but I also want to congratulate those new commissioners uh, in their future service and look forward to working with them as well. Uh, the City Commission met this past week and uh, took several actions. Um, one is um, the ability to uh, have a facility master plan for the city of Grand Rapids. For all our city-owned facilities, we have about 51 uh, various uh, campuses and facilities, and uh, we're going to work with Fishbeck, they're the consultant that was selected, uh, to develop a citywide facility master plan to anticipate our, our both future need and analyze our current need, and making sure we're uh, taking advantage of the highest and best use of all the uh, city uh, properties. City Commission also approved a new added mission for the Convention and Arena Authority. Uh, right now, the CAA is, uh, there are several assets that they're authorized to operate. One is the uh, DeVos Place Convention Center. The other is the Van Andel Arena. Uh, but with the amphitheater and the redevelopment of 201 Market and the potential sale of that property to the CAA to construct and operate an amphitheater, uh, the work has begun to revise their mission statement in anticipation and preparation of that. And so uh, now they are authorized to run a convention center, a uh, arena, and now a amphitheater in terms of their mission. So that's an important initial step, and we look forward to the continued uh, development of that uh, property as well as all the development that's planned on the river corridor. City Commission also heard very important projects that were occurring in the neighborhoods. One was uh, in Boston Square and Third Ward and it was some of the redevelopment uh, that's taken place around the Amplify GR project. And part of that envisions um, a $30 million investment, uh, but in the first phase, which is about $10 million, um, in addition to the master plan for housing and retail uh, and for both business and uh, commercial um, tenants, uh, there's also some community um, amenities, uh, one of which is a early childhood learning center that was discussed last night in the first phase of the project. So the first phase is about $10 million. About uh, $9 million of that roughly is going to be construction costs, and almost $3.8 million of that construction cost is going to be committed to people who are minority-owned business, women-owned business, and local businesses here in Grand Rapids. So very exciting project that's going to add to uh, housing, but also is going to improve the quality of life. There's also going to be an activity center there and lots of amenities. And want to thank the uh, residents of um, Oakdale Neighborhood Association in Boston Square uh, for their partnership in helping to bring this project forward. There's also another project uh, which there was a public hearing last night, and that was uh, in the second ward. Um, excuse me, that was in the first ward, and that is for the United Methodist Community House and on South Division. And that is going to be a project that's going to uh, have amenities for senior housing and senior living. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Williams for his leadership on that effort. And there will be roughly 46 uh, new senior housing units that's created. Some of them uh, will be uh, deep, uh, or low, uh, deep affordabilities, uh, 30 to 40 to uh, 30 to 40 percent AMI as well as some Section 8 housing in there. So uh, we really, really appreciate the intentionality around that space. There will be a grocery, uh, expanded grocery and retail uh, to make sure that there's uh, food accessibility, not a food desert in that area. 
and just to make sure that we improve the quality of life and living for senior adults as well. Uh, I will be one of those uh, pretty soon uh, and hope to age as gracefully as some of our adults are doing in our community. Um, and uh, we also talked at Public Safety about some of the issues around traffic safety. Uh, Mobile GR gave a briefing to the city, uh, to the Public Safety Committee about acquiring more speed trailers to um, increase driver awareness, education, make sure that they're safely traveling through our city, uh, but also enforcement in the police department. Um, and we got an update from Grand Rapids Police Department uh, from them and their partners at the Child Advocacy Center in dealing with uh, people who are very unfortunate victims of uh, child abuse and sexual assaults to, to children. And certainly that has no place in our society and we should do everything we can to prevent and to respond to it. And I appreciate the update that was provided at the Public Safety Committee regarding that effort. And um, I guess lastly, there, there's a lot of things that are happening this month. Uh, we celebrated Veterans Day last week, and I want to thank all the veterans who have very courageously served our country uh, and, and, our, and our, both abroad as well as stateside. Thank you for your service. Uh, but also, this is uh, moving into the holiday season and uh, the time of Thanksgiving and, and, and really celebrating the many holidays that are part of the uh, fall and winter tradition. And so... I want to uh, let you know how thankful I am of all of our city employees and all of our residents who uh, make this community so special. And while there may not always be unilateral agreement, I think everybody really wants what's best for the city of Grand Rapids. And I appreciate uh, those of you who have come together and uh, participated in local government and um, really help us to really continue to become a more perfect union. So thank you for uh, your support of our community and, and being part of Grand Rapids and look forward to talking to you next month. Have a ha happy holiday.